Hello class. In our last class, we have seen how to write the electronic configurations of the cations and anions. Okay. Now today we are going to see about two important principles. One is Pollux exclusion principle and the second one is Hund's rules of maximum multiplicity. So we need to understand about this two. Okay, our today's topic is these two principles. Before this, we discuss about Ohbau principle and from where we come to learn how to write down the electronic configurations of the elements. So first we'll discuss about Pauli's exclusion principle. According to Pauli's exclusion principle, it states that an orbital cannot accommodate more than two electrons. That means a single orbital cannot have more than two electrons. Say for example S orbital, it can have only two electrons. P orbitals, where you have got the three soft cells and it, each soft cells, that is Px, Py and Pz, in Px will have two electrons, Py two electrons, Pz two electrons. Okay. This follows from Pauli's exclusion principle. And from Pauli's exclusion principle, it also means that if there are two electrons in an orbital, if we have got two electrons in an orbital, then they can have three quantum numbers same, but the spin quantum number will be always different. Say for example, uh, if the principal quantum number n is equal to 1, the value for l will be 0 because l ranges from 0 to n minus 1 and n will be also 0. And for one electron, the spin quantum number value will be plus half, that is clockwise. Okay. For the second electron, the value for principal quantum number, azimuth quantum number l and magnetic quantum number are same but the spin quantum number would be minus half which is anti-clockwise so according to Pauli's exclusion principle the two electrons in an orbital can have can have three quantum numbers same but the fourth one would be different another statement for Pauli's exclusion principle two electrons occupy the same orbital together despite the repulsion of like electrostatic charges because they have opposite spins. Opposite spins create magnetic field which tends to cancel the effect of the electrostatic charge. So we can have two electrons in the same orbital okay, but they'll have opposite spin. One will be positive and other will be negative we can say. This is about Pauli's exclusion principle. Next, we have got Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity. Now, let us try to understand this rule. Okay, so it has got two statements. So, the first statement is no electron pairing takes place in the orbitals with equivalent energy, such as orbitals of P, D, and F subcells, until each orbital in the given subcell contains one electron. And the spins of any unpaired electrons are parallel, that is in the same direction. To understand this statement, we'll take an example. Say, for example, in the element carbon, which has got the atomic number 6, the electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1, and 2pz0. Because in the Z, uh, pz, we don't have any electrons. Now, and if you want to write down the same electronic configuration in this way, 1s2, 2s2, 2px2, 2py0, 2pz0. Out of this, the first one is correct. The reason is that when you filled up the electrons in the orbital, first we should keep it on paired electrons. All the suborbitals should be single on paired electrons. And the pairing will start once all the electrons are on paired okay so we cannot place that two electrons in one suborbital that is px it should be one in px one in py if you have got three electrons in p then it should be like this px1 py1 and pz1 okay so this is 
Huhn's rule of maximum multiplicity. The second statement is when different orbitals of same energy are half or less than half filled, the electrons should have parallel spin. So, if you have got the orbitals of same energy, means 2s and 2p, they have got the same energy or less than half filled, or it is less than half filled. Say, for example, p orbital uh, half filled is 3 electrons. So, if it is less than that, the electrons should have parallel spin. Parallel spin means uh, either clockwise okay clockwise plus half plus half like that so this is moon rule of maximum multiplicity now today's assignment assignment number 21 question number one is state polis exclusion principle question number two state moon's rule of maximum multiplicity explain these rules with a suitable example question number three this question i have added from our previous previous uh, relation we have done okay explain why the electronic configuration of chromium is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s1 3d5 and not 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d4 we, we have explained this reason in our previous class so refer to that and question number four is correct the following electronic configurations so the electronic configuration which is given below 1 and 2 they are incorrect you need to correct it name the elements to which this configuration belongs so after correcting the electronic configuration of the elements name the elements which corresponds to that corrected electronic configuration so complete it and send your assignment in my mail